pulled you out of a burning building. Yes, absolutely. And he pulled your kids out too, didn't he? Yes. He's our hero. We're so thankful to him. We're so happy that you got this. You deserve it. Thank you. Thank you. It was really touching to just see two people standing there in front of me that almost weren't there and that I had a little part in helping to make that happen. It was amazing. Holly became a true hero not only to his family, but to the people in his community as well. For his efforts as a firefighter, he received a Meritus Service Award for saving four people's lives. My name is Janie Schulteis. On the night of March 5th at 1.20 a.m., my three-year-old son, Nicholas, woke me from bed saying, Mom, there's black smoke. I opened the window and yelled, I have children in here. Please save my kids. Within seconds, that ladder was up to the window, and there was Howie cutting my screen and rescuing my children. If Howard wasn't there that night to save me and my children, I wouldn't even be here right now saying this. Howie's got the biggest heart. This is the kind of guy we all want to work with. We'd all like to be like Howie. I became a firefighter because there's nothing in the world that makes me happier than being able to help someone in need. It's the best job in the world, and I love it. Ironically, Howie and his own family live in unsafe conditions. In the tough economy, the best house Howie could afford for his family was a small farmhouse in the country. We thought with a few small repairs, we would get the house up and running. Unfortunately, these small repairs have turned into large repairs. This house is like putting your finger in the dike. As soon as we fix one problem, another one pops up. The front porch is literally falling off the side of the house. We had a close call with this chimney. It cracked in a windstorm and could have come down on my family when I was gone. When we flush the toilet, everything just comes seeping up out of the ground. It is a disgusting health hazard. Wow. The things that need to be done to the house now are beyond our reach financially, and they're beyond my abilities. They make just enough money to pay their bills and even live off the land to help make ends meet. It is really important for us to be self-sustaining. We've had to go without a lot of things, so we know what it's like to not have money for groceries. And to be able to grow our own food, it's really comforting. We've planted a great big vegetable garden. We have chickens that lay beautiful eggs. By reducing our carbon footprint and growing as much of our own food here, we can really reduce the amount of resources that our family is consuming and leave the world better for our children than we found it. Howie has the weight of the world on his shoulders, but the worst part is at the end of the day, instead of being able to come home and relax, there's always something to be done here. Howie's house isn't safe for his family. He's a firefighter and he understands safety. We all do. And this is a, a place for him. He's done everything he can to make it as safe as he can. But his house has got to go. It's ripping me apart that my children are living in a house like this. Please come and help us. Here we go. You guys ready? All right, here we go. on the megaphone, it sent shivers down my spine. And I couldn't believe all the people that were there. It was like somebody throwing out a life ring in the middle of the ocean. It was such great relief. So as you can see, we brought a few people with us. Wow. So this is, this is the front door to your house. This is the one barrier that keeps the cold out. And it's barely even in. But you've obviously got some issues with your floor, too. Yeah, there's a hardwood floor under here that's rotten. God, I can barely hear you from walking on these floors. <laughs> it's like, yeah, yeah. But then you know if there's anybody in your house at night. Right, it's sort of an alarm <laughs> it's system. It's a security system. Wow, and so you put these windows in yourself. Yeah, we had like one big non-operating window here that was cracked. And so I pulled that out and put these in. Th is that the thing that heats the house? In the wintertime, yeah, we, we heat with wood. It's a really efficient wood stove. You put the corrugated metal up there, I'm guessing, just to insulate the drywall? Yeah, just some heat shielding. And it really works well. I have to say, you guys are pretty resourceful, man. 
the tribe. I feel really bad for Howie. This is a guy who spends his days saving lives in the community, but he has to go home to a house that he's been putting all his time, all his money, and it just keeps falling apart around him. And you know, now he's worried about his own family safety. Yeah, that's a bit of a hazard. At least the door was cheap. Yeah. If you just slam it hard, it'll... It's obvious he's tried, but there's not much you can do with that house because it's just that bad. Hey, Arno, how's it going this morning? It's going really fast. You, might be, you must be really proud of yourself. It looks great out here. Everybody is totally plugged in. The place is a little beehive this morning. It is, I know. I can feel the buzz. I'm going to check out the buzz inside. Go take a look. Like <laughs> Thanks. It. Wow, this is coming along. We're putting in the appliances. We've got this nice countertop. Come over here, you'll see that the wallpaper has been put up overnight. This place is looking really close to bringing the family home. I have to say, it's pretty incredible what you do every day. I mean, you run into burning buildings, man. You save lives. So there's a lot of people in the community who wanted to give back to you. This is the woman you saved and her family. Oh, that's really nice to see you. So this guy pulled you out of a burning building? Yes, absolutely. And he pulled your kids out too, didn't he? Yes. He's our hero. We're so thankful to him. We're so happy that you got this. You deserve it. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. It was really touching to just see two people standing there in front of me that almost weren't there and that I had a little part in helping to make that happen. It was amazing. Howie is definitely my hero. He rescued me and my sons from a burning building. He's the reason why we're here today. He, he's the reason why we're alive. And it, it was just so great to be able to thank him for all he's done. I know you may not think you're a hero, my friend, but you're exactly what a hero is. Dude, this is for you and your family because you deserve it. Thanks a lot. Are you ready to see what's behind this bus? All right. When the bus moved and we saw our house for the first time, I fell in love. Living in that old house put stress on every aspect of my life. When I was at work, I was always thinking about the problems at the house that I needed to deal with when I got back there. I felt always like I was failing my family. I couldn't have designed a house that fit my dream more perfectly than the one they came up with. We're really excited to start our life in that house. If you love the house, I definitely think you got to give a big hug to Arno Khan and Thad Whitesell from Builders Commonwealth. You guys, the house is awesome. You guys are so cool. I can't believe you did that in a week. Thank you. They're going. The week that we are just finishing was incredibly rewarding. It's a huge honor to be at the center of it and also an opportunity to experience the community in a way that I hadn't quite seen before. It was about the community doing something together. It was an opportunity to reach out to others, to help others, and to do something significant. And that's really the beautiful part. We can't forget our design team and our special guest, Patricia Heaton. Hi. Hello. Welcome back. Thank you. Welcome back. Thank you for back. Welcome. And my family. This is Joe. I couldn't believe Patricia Heaton helped build our house. I'm amazed at how many hands were involved in this project. People actually cared and wanted to be part of this. And we just want to take what has been blessed to us and keep serving the community and keep serving others and whatever we can do to just keep making this world a better place. Being a mom and knowing how important it is to keep the kids safe and, and knowing how you risk your life for another family every day, I just want to say what an honor it was to 
be a part of giving you a house you deserve and that your family feels safe in. And uh, so thrilled to be here. And we hope you love it as much as we loved making it for you. I think what's great about this is it just puts a spotlight on all the good people we have here. And I love being a part of that, a part of giving some hope and optimism. It was really a sort of this little dream come true. Oh my God! Oh, no! Look at this! Look at this! Hello! Look at this! Hello! Wow! This is amazing! Look at it! They have everything! Oh my God! They have everything in here! I love this! Wow, I never, ever, ever dreamed that this would be our house. Everything. Isn't this the greatest? Look at all these beautiful flowers. <gasps> what? Oh, wow. Oh, my goodness. Wow. Oh, what? A pottery oh, studio? A oh, my gosh. And Rosie. Oh, that's clay even, too. The first thing that went through my mind was, is this really our house? Is this, this is really our house? Is this a dream? It feels like a dream. With the old house, the kids had to live in an unsafe environment for a long time. It was like they were prisoners in their own home. Childhood is such an important part of a lifetime. And they lost so much quality time with mom and dad because we were busy fixing things that needed to be fixed. It was almost like Pandora's box where we would start one project and then another one would arise. It was like a money pit. This new house will allow us to be a family and allow us to live and allow us to just be normal human beings without the weight of the world on our shoulders. Guys. Whoever made this house, I really want to thank them. <laughs> Me too, Henry.